Hey guys, it's Tom, and I have a short tutorial on sidechain compression for ducking music underneath voices, whether it's dialogue or VO. I'm going to show you how to set up Pro Tools to sidechain compress your music to help you basically get through a mix as fast as possible. So in most of my videos, I go through the right way to do things, and I would consider this to be Maybe not the wrong way, but it's a very fast way, and it doesn't. Uh, it's not as artistic as going on your volume automation with a fader and actually artfully ducking the music based on what you're hearing. This is a fast kind of automatic way to do it, but it gives you some control uh, and it doesn't use AI or anything like that. So, in Pro Tools, I'm going to set this up using the like old school stock compressor in Pro Tools. So you could do this in any version of Pro Tools that has the ability to use Sends and that has this compressor. Obviously, swap this compressor out with FabFilter or Pro Compressor if you have that, but some people are just learning in like the lower tier versions of Pro Tools, so I figured it'd be good to show how to do it with the, uh, you know, the old school Dynamics 3 compressor limiter. So you can see we've got two tracks here. We've got our buddy JFK on top talking about space and then we've got a music track here on the bottom what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate these compression plugins so you can hear the problem the music's gonna start out very soft here and then you're gonna see it's going to build and because we've just laid his speech on top his voice doesn't build with the music so I'll just play it for you <laughs> assure you that my first lecture will be uh, very brief. I am delighted to be here, and I'm particularly delighted to be here on this occasion. We meet at a college noted for knowledge. So right off the bat, you know, this is no processing applied. I, I did duck the volume 0.3, but that's not enough to really matter. JFK, his voice is too low. So just to start off with, I'm going to add this compressor. These settings are set based on the threshold of where the recording is. I'm not using clip gain or anything. It's just a compressor to bring it up 12 dB uh, so we can have them on top of the music. So here's the beginning part. And I'm particularly delighted to be here on this occasion. We meet at a college noted for knowledge. So it's great. Like he's right on top of the music, but let's see what happens later in the track here where it starts to get big. And most of the scientists that the world has ever known Yeah, so you, you totally lose him in the music. Um, now, like I said, the right way to do this would be to grab a control surface uh, and just duck this down like this. Most of the scientists that the world you know, has to ever bring known it down. are alive. You could also do that with the pencil tool um, by hand using a mouse. There's a lot of different options. But, like I said, sidechain compression, down and dirty, fast way to do this. How we're going to do this is we are going to enable this plugin that I have set up. And the settings here are fairly important. You want to have a soft knee so that as the level of the music approaches the threshold, the compressor starts to kick in a little bit early. You want a very slow attack in a super slow release. You can see. The attack is 45 milliseconds, the release is 3 seconds, and then the uh, threshold is minus 27. So you want to do these based on how it sounds and not just use these numbers blindly. The ratio I have set up to duck it 6 to 1, which is a lot, but you'll see how with these settings, you can hear that it's being ducked, but even with a high ratio like this, it's not like, you know, 90s trailer where the music is pumping in and out. The important thing is to turn on this key on the side chain. And we're going to have to set up this send on our other track. You can see I have a send here that's set up for side chain. And I'm sending the dialog to this mono side chain send at zero. So it's, it's at unity gain. It's just sending, this is a post fader, this 
track into the compressor, I have this sidechain turned on and I have this key right here, input set to sidechain. So that's the connection it needs to happen from your dialog, either track or bus to the key input on the, the compressor and then you need to have sidechain set to key so that it's listening to the dialog. You can filter the input if you want. I don't have these on right now, but you'll hear the difference. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play this heavy part of the track with this compressor, sidechain compressor on music off, and then I'm going to play it with the on. So I'm going to bypass it and play it. Uh, this, I forget why it does that, but okay. And most of the scientists that the world has ever known are alive and working today, despite the fact that this nation owns scientific manpower. It's doubling every 12 years in a rate of growth more than three times that of our population as a whole. Despite that, the vast stretches of the unknown and the unanswered and the unfinished still far outstrip our collective comprehension. You can hear a little bit of pumping because uh, JFK's metered speech, these holes, you can hear the music start to kind of fill back in. And that's okay. Some uh, people like that because it helps fill the space. If you didn't like that, you could tweak the release setting to be longer. Or you could just, you know, mix it manually, which is the way I like to go. But for down and dirty docks or a down and dirty commercial, this is a great way to speed through just making the dialogue stand out over the music. Another thing you can do is do your normal mix pass and set up a similar thing, but just very subtle. Like don't have it duck, you know, 12 dB or whatever. Have the ratio set to be like two to one. So it's just ticking down a tiny bit. It can really help clear up a muddy mix. Um, but this is one of those quick down and dirty, get it done fast. Not every job you have limited, you know, unlimited amounts of time. So those jobs where you have to just ship it fast, or maybe you're starting out and you don't trust yourself with faders, this can be kind of a handy shortcut to use for projects like that. So this is the Pro Tools side of this tutorial. Uh, now I'm going to switch to a completely different software. The first half of the video, we went through setting up a sidechain compressor in Avid's Pro Tools, but I know for a fact a lot of people have DaVinci Resolve, especially the free version of it, and I've gotten requests for audio tutorials in DaVinci, so we're going to go through that now in the Fairlight tab. I have the same exact setup here as I had in my Pro Tools section. I have the voice right here. This is a um, Space Race speech by JFK, and then I've got a music track down here. I do have on the dialog track a very basic compressor setup just to boost it because it's an old vintage recording and there's some mic control issues. So this is not doing anything other than just kind of leveling out the dialogue. Let's have a listen to the beginning of this. I will assure you that my first lecture will be a very brief. I am delighted to be here and I'm particularly delighted to be here on this occasion. So I can hear everything JFK is saying. The music's maybe a little too hot, a little overpowering, but I know for a fact when we get here and all this mess kicks in, we're probably going to lose them. So let's just verify that. Despite the striking fact, both scientists in the world are alive and working today. Yeah, so the music is literally crapping out diarrhea all over his voice. We don't want that. What you could do is you could adjust your audio. Uh, level for this. You could draw in a little graph down. That's a totally great and uh, manual way of doing this. It's actually the preferred way. So do that if you want. You can automate the faders with the mouse, but you're looking for a quick fix. I got you. How we're going to do this is we're going to set up a sidechain compressor. What this will do is it's going to look at this track with the dialogue on it 
and it's going to adjust the volume of this track based on this input. So we have to connect the voice to the music track and we have to set up a compressor. How we're going to do that is over here in our mixer window. I'll make this a little bit bigger. See this dynamics tab? Double click that. Turn on the compressor. And then we also have a sidechain tab here. We're going to click on listen. So this sidechain is going to be listening to the input. So this track is all set up to receive the audio. It's ready to take the audio, but in order to send the audio from the dialog track, you have to click on bus sends here and add a plus. I've already done it, but just to show you how to do it. So under the dynamics tab, you hit plus and you do sidechain. And then there's a little mixer guy here. Make sure the sidechain is set to on and the send level is set to around zero. I have it plus 0.1, but plus zero is great. So now we have our send set up. It is sending the audio from the voice channel to the music channel here. And now when I hit play, you can adjust the compressor settings by ear. Really the most important things to have set up on this compressor tab for the uh, dynamics on, to see how this is dynamics music. So one thing I'm not super keen on I mean, maybe it's useful in Fairlight, but like if I click voice, it changes the dynamics channel. Uh, so back on our music here, the compressor's on, it's set to listen. I have my threshold set to minus 31. Really, you want to adjust this threshold to where when the dialogue starts kicking in, it starts to tickle the compressor a little bit. Uh, the ratio, this is how much it's going to reduce the volume of the music. So a higher ratio means it's going to turn the music down more once the dialogue gets over the threshold. The super important settings for a smooth sidechain, if you're using it in this capacity as a music ducker, is the attack needs to be set pretty high. So this is how fast the compressor is going to knock down the signal. The holds, I have mine set to 1265. That means it's about one and a quarter seconds. So once it gets down, it's going to hold the level for a second and a quarter. And then the release, which is after the dialogue level goes back down under the threshold, meaning no dialogue, how quickly or slowly is the compressor going to let go and say, hey, I'm done. I'm going to leave the music alone now. I have this set to three. Uh, 3,225 milliseconds, which is three and a quarter seconds. That Those are super long times. Like, you'd never use this type of compression on really anything but this. And you'll hear why. Let me play it, this from the top, and we're going to keep this open so you can see what the sidechain compressor is actually doing. <laughs> assure you that my first lecture will be a uh, very brief. I am delighted to be here and I'm particularly delighted to be here on this occasion. We meet at a college noted for knowledge, in a city noted for progress, in a state noted for strength, and we stand in need of all three. For we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. Despite the striking fact that most of the scientists that the world has ever known are alive and working today, despite the fact that this nation's own scientific manpower is doubling every 12 years in a rate of growth more than three times that of our population as a whole. Despite that, the vast stretches of the unknown and the unanswered and the unfinished still far outstrip our collective comprehension. So the downsides of this method is that you could, if you were watching the gain reduction meter or just listening carefully, you can hear the music kind of pump in and out because JFK's speech is so metered and he's got those long pauses in there. 
sometimes people want that like for trailers they want every space filled with sound whether it's music sound effects or dialogue if you didn't like that then you could tweak the hold and release settings to be longer so that it's a longer you allow for those gaps to kind of coast through underneath um, with the compre without the compressor releasing so but you can hear how cleaner how much cleaner the voice is with the sidechain compressor setup it's just ducking stuff it's ducking the music down underneath so we can hear what he's saying um, so this is a just basic overview on how to set up a sidechain compressor another thing you can do is you could do a hybrid approach where maybe you put in some you know volume points to duck down the music but then you have a sidechain compressor set up to do just a little bit like instead of doing you know uh like two seven to one ratio maybe you take this down to like 1.5 to one you know to where it's just giving you a little extra clarity and a lot of times that decision will be made late in the mix when there's like a global note like eh, overall the music feels a little loud well instead of turning down the music where you it's just music there's no dialogue you can set up a sidechain compressor to only kick in when there's dialogue or voiceover. So whether you set this up on the tracks or better yet, a bus, a couple buses, a dialogue and music bus, this can help you breeze through kind of balancing out and making sure that the voice is always on top of the music. The music is never fighting uh, with just setting up a sidechain compressor as a basically a music ducker. So hopefully this video helped you. If you have any requests for specific videos in um, Fairlight, Resolve, let me know. I'll try to learn the program. I've already kind of gotten started on that, but I'm always open to new ideas and, uh, and helping you guys. So let me know. And until the next video, I will see you then.